So, here are three things I wish I knew before getting to medical school. But first... Hope you like that transition. Um, so, it doesn't matter what med school you go to. There is a big, big, big thing about med school rankings. In the UK, this is about med school rankings and this med school is rubbish, this med school is good. Um, in the UK, this does not matter at all. In the UK, all med schools do, their only job is to qualify you to become a qualified foundation year doctor. That's all medical schools do. From the best ranked medical school to the worst ranked medical school. There's no such thing as a bad medical school. Their only job, every single one, at the end of the day, after your five years or six years if you're integrating, you will have the exact same qualifications, the exact exact same job prospects as anybody else. I remember I talked to a doctor one time and he said, when you apply for jobs as a doctor, no one asks, no one cares about what university you graduate from. Nobody cares about that. The only important thing is, is that you passed at the end of the day because that's all med schools do. And if there was a med school that wasn't good enough, they would not be certified by the GMC, by the General Medical Council. They would not allow them to, to have students and they would not qualify the students. So the, the med schools are very, very tightly regulated by um, the GMC. And so if a med school does not qualify or does not meet the criteria of medicine, of um, graduating their students, they will not let them graduate. In every med school in the UK, it's the exact same thing. So it doesn't matter. Um, I remember when I was applying, I wanted to apply for Oxford, Cambridge, uh, I was going to take a gap year and apply. But it would have been for the name, because it's prestige, not because it would have like made me better. Like I know in Cambridge and Oxford, they don't, I'm certain for Cambridge and much of Oxford, but they don't have any clinical, any patient contact or third year, like none whatsoever. Um, most med schools do um, as well their teaching style is different so when you apply to medicine it's more important to see what teaching style they have like problem-based learning or is it um, whatever other thingies they do um, but like for example with Cambridge they had a lot of essays they write a lot of essays and for, I'm, at, I'm at Lincoln slash Nottingham they don't have any essays to write do you know what I mean I hate essays they're fun but I hate them I mean, I said that we have a 10,000 word dissertation, but nonetheless, we don't have to write like essays throughout. We get patient contact from first year. Even during COVID, I've still had patient contact. I have another one next week, which I think is going to be a vlog. Um, but yeah, so don't worry about what med school you go to. There's no such thing as a bad medical school. Med schools, it, when you want to apply to med school, apply to the one that you feel you'll be best at. So for example, if you're best at problem-based learning then apply to med schools that do problem-based learning. If you, for example, want to go to a, just a prestige, just for the sake of prestige, apply to Oxford and Cambridge. If you want to, I don't know, have early patient contact, go to certain universities that allow, like for example, Norwich, UAE, UAE, UEA, they have a lot of patient contact from first year, a lot, like I'm talking almost bi-weekly. Um, we here only have like a couple. So really, that's important. It does not, there's no thing as a rubbish medical school. There's rubbish cities, and for example, you don't want to apply to a med school in a rubbish city because you don't want to live there for five years. That's fair enough. But the actual med school itself, there's no such thing as a rubbish med school. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to make some food because that's very dangerous. Do not do that. I'm going to make some food, so I will see you in a bit. I just went out to throw away the bins. Back to the video. It's kind of disgusting. I'm in the toilet, uh, eating an apple. I'm not actually having a poo. Um, I just like the. It's very comfortable sitting here. Um, I'm going to put the apple away because it's a bit weird eating in the bathroom. One sec. Anyway, um, point. <laughs> but yeah, the shower's right there. Point two is there is a lot of memorization. And my god, there is so much to memorize to the point that. Half the time you don't even need to understand something, you just have to learn it just, just because. And you know, so ask why and it's like just because you just have to learn it. Like um, you just have to learn for example like every single bone. The name of every single bone. There's 200 and 
God knows, since the God's name in here. That's a my army, so I'm honest. Um, but you just have to learn it all, and yeah, that's it, to be honest, you have to learn it all. And that's not even it, you have to learn, for example, all the nerves, all the blood vessels, that's just anatomy. And then there's like all the drugs and the medications and the pharmacologies and the mechanism of actions. There is a lot to learn. And in my head, it's scary knowing, like, thinking that, oh, I have to learn this and this and this and this and this and that. It's scary. But then I know, like, other people were able to do it, then I can do it. And if I can do it, you can do it. If you can do it, you can do it. If you can do it, she can do it. If they that's on my arm really hurts, my God. That should say his name again. Anyway. Um, but yeah, there's so much to learn, there's so much to memorise. Uh, it's fun though, and it's all mnemonics, or oh, when you memorise it's just mnemonics. It, you just, like, if you don't know, like, if you want to learn, for example, I don't know, the, the nerves from the brachial plexus, you'll say like, my auntie might race you. And it's like musculocutaneous, and the auxiliary, the radial, the ulna, the medial, all of them. And that's how you memorise stuff. Same with like, the bones and everything. Which is kind of funny, but medicine is basically just learning, anatomy is basically just learning mnemonics, which is quite fun. Um, anyway, I think I'm gonna go. I might do some push ups actually. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do some push ups. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do some push ups, so. Yeah. Ow! 142! 152, 42, 150, 142, 143, 144. And finally, the last one. I'm gonna put you down again, very gently. Um, the last point I wanna make is that does not mean giving up your life, your social life. There is a lot of work to do, and there is a lot of studying to do, but you can still have a very enjoyable, fun social life. Generally, medics study way more than most forces, speaking from my experience, because I studied an undergrad in medical physiology. So um, I've been to uni already for three years, and now I'm in it again for another five. So I know what I'm talking about. And most people, especially first years, in every course, like minimal, like not a lot of studying. I say every course, in most courses. There isn't that much studying to do but when it comes to medicine like generally medics do study quite a lot and they enjoy studying it because it's, it's what like you like you enjoy what you're doing i'm really trying to oh my. um you enjoy what you're doing i need to stop playing with this i'm gonna kill myself um you really do enjoy what you're doing and when you enjoy doing something then it's not a hassle it's not effort uh, medicine is still a lot of effort even if you enjoy it because it's just so much but like, speaking from experience, um, mum and dad, if you're watching this, you can end the video now. But for everybody else, it's like, not gonna lie, I probably mess about and have fun more than I study by a significant amount. And because it is first year for me as well, it's like it's not a deep. But even second, third year, you need to understand that in medicine you will learn it. Like, whatever you have to learn, you will end up learning it. If that was through clinical or is that through preclinical phase, you have you will end up learning it. But the time you're living right now, it won't come back. Your your time at university, this is it. And we're in uni for seven months. But for medicine, you learn most of the stuff during the holidays anyway, because there's no way you can stay on top of everything during normal term time. The workload is just too heavy. When you have five hours of lectures there, and then you can't do what, double it, so you do 10 hours of work a day. So you can do the five hours lectures and five hours afterwards. You, like it's just not feasible. So when it comes, you, you try your best to stay on top during term time, but it's during the holiday season is when you have enough time to go over all the content that you did and all the studying. But you don't want to miss out on your time at university with your friends, living, you know, in accommodation, seeing your friends, like playing games, having fun, um, all within reason because of uh, obviously. Don't do anything illegal, i.e. we're in lockdown, so don't go out partying and stuff. But what I'm saying is that it's so temporary, like the actual uni thing. You have all your life to study and to and like practice medicine. So don't waste these few years you have at universities with your at university with your friends. Just like 
sinking your head into books and studying and studying and studying because you need to like enjoy you need to have like if that's what you like to do and that's what you want to do then fair enough but don't if you're if you want to like at a party and have fun and stuff like that don't say no i'll do it later after i graduate because you won't once you start you just really won't have the, it's not the same it's not the same experience as you have now and you need to have a balance between your social life and studying but you need to understand as well like when you're at uni with your friends it's so it's so temporary you want to seize the opportunity because it probably won't happen again and you don't want to waste it you don't want to look back on your memories and just be like nope every single day i just sunk my head sunk my head and studied and studied and like ali abdul said you won't remember if you studied an extra two hours and got an extra two three four percent you won't on your exam you won't remember that three four percent but you will remember the extra 10 minute chat you had with your friend about something funny or you will remember that time instead of going to the library you went to see your friend i'm not saying don't study what i'm saying is don't neglect your social life your friends your memories that you're forming here ask yourself are you happy with the memories you've formed at uni already are you happy with how you're going or do you want to draw more out of it there's a big stigma about like medical students just study 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 same with like law engineering just like study 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 but are you happy with your life like are you content with your life are you just inside the book every single day 24 7 like that's not a life to live i'd be so depressed from that or like i'd be so sad from that I won't be pleased, I won't be happy. I need I need the social aspect to it.